Hi you guys, a long time no talk. I feel like my vlogs have been really inconsistent. Like normally I vlog and I post every single day or maybe I'll post like twice a week or sometimes I don't post like once a week. It's just kind of been all over the place. So I'm apologized for that. I wanted to tell you guys in this vlog, we are actually going on our hospital tour today. Although I've already seen the labor and delivery floor or like section of the hospital um, cause I went in for an emergency when I started having early contractions. I haven't seen the whole thing. I've only seen like a little section of it. And this is like an actual tour and we can ask questions. And obviously one of the big questions is, are we allowed to film? You know, and are we allowed to film if we have a C-section? Just like questions like that. So we're gonna be able to figure that out today. We're gonna be vlogging the birth as much as we can. Um, but some hospitals have different policies. Some let you film, so don't. And what I mean like by filming is like the actual birth part. I know they let you like take pictures and film after the fact. So over the past few days that I haven't been like vlogging consistently, I did vlog a little bit, like bits and pieces. So it was Father's Day. My dad actually came to visit, which was really nice. And so I'll put in some of those clips here. We're going shopping at the mall with Dad and Lori. <laughs> you guys, it's Father's Day weekend and my dad wanted to come to Home Depot, like insisted we come to Home Depot so that he could buy a bunch of stuff for my backyard. He wants to like help me decorate the backyard with like solar lights is what we have and now we're looking at little plants. That's why he's such a good dad. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Except for there's wind chimes, like a bunch of them and it's gonna make me lose my shit. <laughs> Here are the plant choices that we've gotten so far. Lori's holding on to one of them. I have to pee like every 15 minutes. Story of my life. So I think the last clip you probably saw was us at Home Depot and my dad's so sweet because he really wanted to do something nice for my backyard. So let me show you guys what he did. We bought all those flowers and everything and the lights, the solar lights, and he brought up these um, pagoda candle things. They're so neat. So let me show you what they look like. Here are some of the pots. This is actually rosemary, so I'll be excited to start cooking with that. And then he put in all these like really pretty flowers on top of it. And then he did the same with these little pots. So like when I first come out, I see all these like really pretty flowers. I just watered them so they're a little wet right now. And then this one's really pretty. I like that one. And then this is actually a drought tolerant plant and he put these little like hummingbird, this little hummingbird stand in there because we have a hummingbird feeder in that tree and we get a lot of hummingbirds. So there's some of the plants. And then he also, it was so funny. We didn't even know that we had these like stepping stones to the pool. He was like, oh, you guys need to get some like stepping stones out to the pool. And then he realized that there was actually stepping stones here already, but the previous owners just like let them go. And so the grass grew over it, <laughs> but he ended up cutting them out when he has bad knees. I felt so bad, but he cut out all of these stepping stones to the pool. And then he also bought these pagodas for us. Um, they're really cool. They're solar based and there's like a little candle that flickers in there at night. It looks like, like a real candle. So he brought me two of those, which are really neat and I love, and they look really neat at nighttime. And then he also got those solar lights and he put those so in the backyard it just looks so pretty because they're all over so I'll try to show you guys if I can remember a night shot of this and put it in here just so you could see how pretty it is at nighttime and then a funny story is that we have squirrels and I don't know if you see that but a squirrel came and started eating the side of this pagoda <laughs> and I was like no bad squirrel I was worried that the squirrel is gonna get like sick from eating that. That was really nice of my dad to do that, especially because it was Father's Day weekend and him and his girlfriend were out there. Like, it was so nice. We hung out by the pool, we swam, we ate lots of food, or I should say I ate lots of food. <laughs> and it was just really nice to have them. Oh, and I don't know if I've showed you guys the guest room or not, but we finished it. I'll just get a little, bit, little remote update real fast. So, when you walk into this area. This is the mud room. We put a little sign up for them. And then the bathroom obviously is not done yet. Um, 
but this is the guest room and I think it came out really nice as my old bed and everything and we put in the mirrored closet doors and I don't know I just really like it I think it's just like really clean and comfortable and then of course they have this gorgeous view um, that I love so much I think it's just so pretty it feels like you're on vacation with like all the trees and everything so yeah that's what the guest room looks like I think it came out really nice like I said I would sleep down here it's so comfortable because it's my old bed and I kind of miss it um, but we have a new bed now upstairs so and then the laundry room in there you guys have seen that the house is just looking amazing Travis has done such a good job with remodeling and everything and oh I don't know if you guys saw that we put these chairs here Travis doesn't like them but I love them I think that like it kind of mixes the like Victorian era with like modern but he does he doesn't like it uh, but I really love these chairs I don't want to get rid of them he's like we just need to sell them and I just don't want to part with them because I love them so much and I think that they kind of tie in with the mirror a little bit but we'll see um, and there he is working away. I heard the chairs. <laughs> I know. Um, I like the chairs. I just don't think that they work with like the house the way it's set up. Yeah. With like the newer modern grays and whites and silvers and stuff like that. You're right. I just love my chairs so much that I'm trying to make them work. Yeah. Um, and then we got the new carpet and the paint. I don't know if I've showed you guys all this or not yet, but, um, and then I recently got this chair from Bye Bye Baby, because I, you guys had seen, if you watched the other vlogs, that it had gotten a different chair from Target that I really liked the way it looked, but it was really uncomfortable for my back. So I got this one, I like it a lot better. Um, and we got it on sale, so. And we had a coupon, so I got a really good deal on that. And, yeah, it's kind of just showing you guys a little bit of the house. Um, and then I'll go upstairs and show you guys what the bedroom looks like really fast. So right now, this is what our bed looks like. It's, the bed is not really made properly, so don't mind that. But this is our new bed. We got it from Home Depot. And then we got these, like this comforter from Home Goods, and then also the sheets. It's just all white and it's really comfortable. We need to get nightstands. The nightstands we had up here, we put in the guest room. So like all the furniture that was in the master, we put downstairs in the guest room because Travis wanted to get a king size bed. So now we have a king size bed and it's really cool because it's one of those beds that you like can, with the remote, you know, like the top goes up or whatever. So that's really nice. Our little air filter, if you're wondering what that noise is. So we still have to furnish this, but it's not really a top priority on my list. Then I will also show you the upstairs guest room. Uh, looks like this right now. So I, we're thinking we're probably gonna change it around to make it like a gym room. So I started putting some of my like yoga stuff in here, even though I don't really do yoga. So yeah, we'll see how we end up doing this, but that's just what it looks like for right now. And if you're wondering why all the doors are taken off, <laughs> it's because we got new carpet in. The carpet is like really a lot thicker from the carpet that we had previously. And it's, it's like really squishy and soft. It feels like Tempur-Pedic because of this pad that we had put underneath it. It's really, really comfortable, um, but it's too thick for the doors. So we need to cut the doors like the bottom of the doors so that they'll open and close because <laughs> right now they don't so that's why all the doors are off and then I will give you a little sneak peek into the nursery room that is all uh, painted this is the old chair that we're not gonna end up using and then this was for a video that I just filmed <laughs> it's insane so um, definitely check out the main channel if you're not subscribed because I did a huge baby haul unboxing and there is a lot of stuff as you could see so little nursery sneak peek <laughs> yeah I have a lot of organizing I need to do and you know just getting the nursery together so lots and lots of stuff that I have I'm so grateful you can see there's the little bump and then here's the other bumps <laughs> and you guys see my butt it's it's really hard to see but I promise you it's like 
Looks like I got butt implants. I have not stopped eating. I was, I filmed a pregnancy update video today for the main channel and I just, I'm just so hungry all the time. Like I get hungry and then I'll eat and then like 15, 30 minutes later, I'm hungry again and just keep eating. And uh, I just can't stop. My appetite has definitely increased a lot. I will catch you guys up in a little bit on how the hospital tour goes. So here is a little sneak preview of what the room would look like uh, when I go into labor and delivery to deliver our little baby girl. It was so cool to be able to see this. The rooms are actually really spacious and nice. Uh, and they have a little nook for the baby, which you'll see in a second. Oh, that's where she's going to go. I'm so excited. This made me so excited to go on this tour. I'm calling my mom because I just got out of the tour and found out a lot. I talked to like the nurse. I talked to like a nurse on the labor and delivery floor, which is really cool to be able to talk to her. Got a lot of good info. Where are we going Some right scary now? info. Whole Foods to get the vegan dozen donut challenge, duh. Are you serious? Yes, let's go. I need some Justin's peanut butter cups after finding this. What out, what I, what out, Did you finding touch a out. bunch of things? Do you need No, them? I washed my hands as soon as I went to the Oh my gosh, not answering. Is your mom still working? No, she's not working. Um. So I just realized that a spinal tap, you guys, goes in the same place an epidural does, which means I have to give birth naturally, I just found out. <laughs> and that if I have to go have an emergency C-section, that I need to go under general, which we definitely don't want to do. What'd your grandma do with her 10 kids? My grandma gave natural birth to all eight kids. I mean, I am woman, hear me roar. <sighs> She, in the labor, like, they don't do very many natural births there, but she was like, oh, we just had a natural birth. <laughs> she was excited. She was excited She's about like, it. it. She's like, you could do it. We're here for you. She was so sweet, you guys. She was really nice. Oh, yeah. I really liked her. And all the nurses, when, but like, since we've gone in there, have been super, super nice. So, yeah. um, oh, scary, but it was good. I'm really glad we got a lot of our questions answered, which was nice. Like, how far along do you need to be to get an epidural, even though I don't have that choice? And then what the filming policy was. So if I do get a C-section, for some reason I cannot film or take pictures at all in there. So that's kind of a bummer. So hopefully now I don't want to get a C-section. And I was like planning a scheduled one <laughs> like a little bit ago. Um, so now I'm gonna have to do a natural birth, but at least I'll be able to film it for you guys. Um, anyway, that's kind of where we're at. The lighting's not very good. So I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Okay, <laughs> I convinced Travis to take me to Whole Foods. I I stocked up on my stash of Justin's peanut butter cups, these cookies, which are so good by the way. They have 16 grams of protein, the birthday cake ones. These are good and so are the peanut butter ones. The chocolate chip, I'm not, they're not my favorite, but these are really good and they're vegan. And then obviously the vegan peanut butter cups by Justin's, you have to get the dark chocolate ones. The dark chocolate ones are the only ones that are vegan. The milk chocolate ones are not vegan. But we also got, <laughs> Where is it? We also got some donuts back there, like a case of them. And then also, I got these. I know the lighting sucks right now. Um, they are the Vega protein snack bars. I put one of these in my subscription box like a while ago, and everyone loved them. They're really good. They're like caramel chocolate or something. So yum, 10 grams of protein. So I got some of those, and Travis, like, we were supposed to go in just to get donuts, but I, I convinced Travis to let me get, otherwise he's like, I didn't think we were gonna get all these things. I was like, I'm pregnant. And then I was like, oh, can you give me one of those, like when we were putting all the stuff in the car, I'm like, can you give me one of those snack bars? Should I have a snack bar or Justin's peanut butter cups or a cookie? <laughs> and he was like, well, are you hungry? And I looked at him like, do you really need to ask me if I'm hungry right now? Like, I'm always hungry. <laughs> you know this. The good thing in these situations right now is that you don't blame me yet, yet. You don't blame me for eating stuff. It's not like we get it and then you eat it and then in an hour from now, why did you let me eat this? I've never we, we, done that to you. No, though. I know, but we haven't done that. But it could get to that point. When it gets to that point, then we start to have some issues. No, because I take responsibility for my for like the things when, that I put in my mouth. Like when we're doing the, on all natural birth, you did this to me. I can't say that because we did IVF. It doesn't work. True. It's true. The doctors did it to me. I just, I just, I always have that envision that I, that, that I would hear that someday. Like, you did this to me. I hate you. Well, I would never say I hate you, but if you want, when I'm in, when I'm in birth, when I'm in birth, when I'm 
giving birth and in labor, I can definitely say that to you if you want because I'm sure I'm gonna be screaming all types of profanities. I need to do like hypnobirthing or something. I've been so back and forth like with this whole pregnancy on like not knowing what's going on or how I'm gonna be able to like manage the pain and if I should do it naturally or if I should do a C-section and like schedule it and it's just kind of been all over the place because of I don't know, because I'm all over the place. Ugh, you the know, I do, you know I do see a lot of comments in the comment section that a lot of people have done it natural. And yeah. they're, they're empowering you to to do it all natural. I know. And saying that you can do it. I'm sure I can do you it. Can the thing is, it. is that like, I don't want to do it naturally. Like, I, I just was not one of those people. I just want to be relaxed. I want the drugs. I've always wanted the drugs and like, that's just kind of how I've been, but now that like I have now that I have no choice, like I don't know. It just maybe my mind will change when I start like taking classes or doing more research. You know, I just it, I think I'm just scared, and I have such bad anxiety with like medical and health stuff that like I just feel like it'd be easier. Like I would be like the type of person that you give the drugs to. And so I'm a little nervous, but everything's gonna be okay. I just wanted to like catch up, let you guys know like <laughs> how our hospital tour went. And I did not know that I was gonna find that out today, but I'm glad that I did because now I can prepare myself, which I've been telling myself this whole time, I'm gonna prepare for anything. And I'm glad that I kind of had that mindset, even though I really didn't. I was just like planning for the, for the drugs. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I think that's it for today. I'm gonna enjoy all my junk food that I just bought for myself and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. We're going to LA tomorrow so that should be fun but thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. And you know, oh, oh my gosh, you were cutting me. Well, sometimes you don't do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go ahead.